Hey, Media Mail Gang. It is Katie with Katie Reads, and this is a What Sold video. And I am going to talk about some items that sold on eBay. I'm doing this kind of unconventionally for my normal videos. Uh, next month, it'll be back on track. My pretty bookcase background. Um, but right now I'm in the middle of rearranging some things in the basement and doing some things. So I still wanted to get a what sold video out for you guys for the month of May, just like I did with April. Um, even with the baby coming in April, I still want to get a what sold video out for you guys. So you have, you know, kind of that, um, book motivation and can be on the lookout for different things that, um, are selling for me. So I will be really transparent. I didn't list a single thing in the month of May. Um, oh, I take that back. I think I listed two items in the month of May. But to be fair, I didn't do any sourcing either, which was really, really hard. I've been refraining from garage sales because I have a whole storage unit full of free 99 inventory that I need to go through. I've been on pause for probably the past month and a half. Um, I was on pause even before the baby came just because I was super pregnant and I couldn't move <laughs> very well. So now I'm slowly getting back to the storage unit, sorting through inventory and started listing this week actually. So going into June, I'll have some new inventory into the store. So I have a few items to show you guys today that are book related, media mail related. Um, and I hope you get some value from this and definitely drop a comment let me know how may is going for you because i know we're headed into like the dreaded summer slowdown right because people are outside people aren't doing a whole lot of online shopping unless unfortunately you're looking for formula then you're going to be doing a lot of online shopping but um i i just know the summer slowdown is real and things happen uh, and I had experienced it my very first year in reselling. The summer months were really tough for me and it scared me a lot. But last year, my summer months were totally fine um, and not any different than, I mean, maybe an uptick around Christmas time, but not any different than a normal, normal month sale. So I'm hoping that going into 2022 and going into our summer months right now that I won't have this uh, same <clears throat> issue. I guess with uh, the whole summer slowdown thing. So I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what that looks like, but super long intro, let's get into these sales. Okay guys, so this is like a baby sale, meaning it's under 15 bucks. I kind of consider those baby sales. Those are my bread and butter. Those are things that are just, you know, um, keeping my store active pretty much. So this is a Chevrolet manual that I got, uh, I think for like 25 cents during uh, last summer actually, uh, when Tay and I went thrifting for the 127 um, or the US 12, it was one of those two. I think it was US 12 that, we, that I found this at. So 25 cents, turned it into 11 bucks and some change. Um, they paid media mail shipping and got it out to its new home. Okay guys, so next is this American Girls, uh, like small miniature books. There was nine of them that sold for $13. I did take a best offer on this. I had it listed for around 18, I feel like, and it was an international buyer. I know they have to pay more in shipping and I, I am a little sensitive to that. Um, and these books were actually part of a lot that I purchased from Pat Doodles. So I've already made my money back, um, plus some profit from Pat. So at this point, this is all just hundred percent profit. I kind of consider it like free 99 now at this point. So yeah, it was a great sale. And, uh, I did get notification yesterday that it has made it to its new, uh, home internationally. Next is something that I really was just reimbursing myself for. <laughs> I think I made like $20 profit. This is a corporate finance access code. I had purchased it for college classes that I had taken back in the fall and I didn't end up having to use it. We ended up just using the book and doing other things. I didn't even need the access code. So I had it listed. It's been listed for about six months now and it did finally sell. 
uh, the buyer did uh, request a quick shipping uh, and they had chose medium mail for this. So I did change it to first class to just kind of help them out. So I think um, maybe a dollar or something came out of my profit towards shipping. Um, and then, like I said, I think I paid 100, 115 for this access code because it came with the textbook. So I think total profit on this one is about 20 bucks, but I'm happy to get my money back and to make a profit off of that, especially because, you know, college ain't cheap. So the fact that I got my money back plus profit is good in my eyes. Next, I have a mad magazine that ended up selling. Uh, these I have to send out first class because they're magazines and there's advertisements inside of them. And the buyer did pay for shipping with that. I sold this for $14. Um, I did take a best offer. I have these listed anywhere from 14 to 17. I think I have a couple listed for 20. The condition on some of these are not the greatest. So I just kind of take that into consideration with offers that I receive. And I think I only have a few more left. I got these, I got a um, two packages of those for 10 bucks. So I have definitely made my money back at this point. This is all profit. Um, and it's interesting, they've slowly trickled uh, in sales. I sourced this back in September, um, actually October, during a fall festival. Uh, one of the uh, vendors had some books and magazines and other items for sale. So I purchased those and was able to uh, flip them. I think I have a couple magazines left out of the whole pack that I purchased for 10 bucks. And finally, I had this Contiki book. I don't know anything about it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's leather bound. Um, there's gold gilded all around the outside of the pages. And it is an Easton Press, which automatically kind of commands more money because Easton Press is heavily sought after. It's more aesthetically pleasing to people. Um, they're just nicer quality books overall. This I got 100% for free from Yvonne who sent Tay and I some packages of inventory. It was so kind of her. She's not a reseller, but she supports our channel and was helping someone clean out their estate and sent us some inventory. So thank you so much, Yvonne. That is awesome. This is 100% profit for me and my family. And that means a lot to me you know, anything that you guys do from super thanks in my video to super chats when I go live, um, I'm gonna have memberships soon, any type of support that you guys are giving me to this channel, it really, really means a lot. I started this channel just wanting to help people and to help them understand that books were profitable and how to make money off of books. And now you guys are out here like literally financially supporting me and that means the world. I cannot thank you enough for that. Everybody that sent us items for the baby from his registry, that's amazing. Thank you so much. Um, we are actually in the middle of getting uh, thank you cards out to everyone. Guys, I just want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting the channel. Um, and I hope that these solds kind of help you and um, help you kind of keep an eye out for items that you can sell in your store. And uh, there's bread and butter and then there's high dollar ones. It just, uh, just depends on whatever you can find. I will see you in the next video and make sure to check out my what sold on Etsy and whatnot. Uh, I just started whatnot in May and I'm gonna talk about how I'm flipping books and media on whatnot.